The B-1B Lancer has finally arrived. Time to unbox it. The scissors are having trouble getting into the crack, SMH. Oh, never mind, they got in. Time to get this bad boy out. Got it. Time to remove another sticker. This is really hard. Got it again. Gotta be really careful getting this out. Don't wanna break it. These Darren models are kinda fragile. There we go. I'm really liking it so far. Uh-oh, the right engine got disconnected from the aircraft. I'm gonna have to super glue it back on. Let's get the display stand out and assemble. There we go again. Let's put the B1B Lancer on the display stand and let's let it sit there until I get the engine super glued back on. All right, got the engine fixed. Now let's do a review on it. Before we do review the aircraft, here is everything you need to know about the model scale and where you can buy it. Now let us review the plane. So far, the front of the plane is very detailed. You can see the inside of the cockpit, the nose is dark gray, and they got the aerial refueling area in the front. Lots of more details. The front. The engine air intakes. The right side. The wings do move. Amazing work. It has the registration number 840051 and Air Force Base location Dias Air Force Base. And the tail art looks like the Batman symbol LOL. I just really love the details on this plane, OMG. The bottom and bomb bay doors. The engines. Rear.
the left side. The nose and cockpit. This B1B Lancer is named Boss Hog. After all, this is a great aircraft model. I highly recommend it. Although do be aware that some Darren postage stamp models might have loose parts. So make sure you have super glue when you unbox these. Some facts about the B-1B Lancer. 